right, the next little sizzle we have to offer you is a chick bite, and you know Wham Dave loves him some chick bites. <laughs> now, these are my favorite. I feel like you get the best value on these women's fights, man. I mean, you got Tisha Torres as the favorite against Angela Hill. Uh, minus 130 I'm looking at right now. And Tisha Torres, I feel like she's the kind of lady that she looks like she would be good. Everyone talks like she's good. And I just don't see it. I don't think she's that good. Uh, and on the other hand, you got Angela Hill. Uh, she lost two of her last three. Two split decisions, um, Claudia Gadeja and uh, Michelle Watterson. I thought she won both those fights. Then her last fight, she beat Yotter, which that's not really much to yeah. write home about. But, man, stick it in there with top competition, like, uh, you know, getting a split decision with Gadeja and uh, Watterson. I mean, two top tier talents. Very top tier talents. And uh, you like some a couple things about Hill, too, right? Yeah. So, Two things. First off, you, you you kind of alluded to one of them, and the, the two like think about that two split decisions. Angela Hill doesn't have the best record, but I swear when she's in there, I mean she is a dog with a lot of heart, and that yeah. th that does listen. That might not get you very far in like I don't know other sports, but in, in, when you're in there mano a mano and fighting, that shit matters. Mm -hmm. And she's going the distance with top tier talent. I think I, I did think that uh, Gadea beat her, but I didn't think I think I'm with you. I think she did kind of edge out Watterson. Either fair. way, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna make this a crucifixion of the of the judging here. The point being is that Angela Hill's been fighting top tier talent and being in there with them, and to the point where hey, two people, one wearing pit vipers, we think that uh, you know maybe she won. Either way, I think that you're getting the value with her. That if you're looking at it from a sheer value standpoint, you're getting plus one ten. She's been headlining fights for, you know, uh, you know, two years now, I would mm -hmm. say. Yeah. She's bigger. Taking main events, even. Yeah. This is one. Look at them when they're on the scale, too. I mean, Angela Hill is big. And yeah. I think she can body her. Um, I'm not really sure too much on the optics of uh, Tisha Torres or who has the reach advantage. I just feel like Angela Hill, as far as, like, muscle mass and power, she can really out-muscle people in there. And yeah. I think that matters because she, you know, you find her getting to the ground a lot on her fights, too. Yeah. And she's well-rounded, too. I mean, she's getting up there in age. That's only knock against her. I mean, she's 36 now, but but I haven't seen it like affect the way that she fights her cardio or like I haven't seen like yeah, age she does feel back. young. She still feels young. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, I what would be like, what's like a good example of of uh, where like you could just okay? We were just talking about OSP. Yeah. When OSP is in there, you can tell he doesn't have that same pizzazz that he did right. three four years ago. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You can right. tell when these fighters are on the step, way. Yeah. Look at anybody from the UFC and the Bellator. They just don't fight the same way. They right. don't fight with the same speed. They're not cutting weight the same way. Mm -hmm. I'm not getting that with Angela Hill. So there is like a point where like you got these angelist wonders. And there's like those are the ones where it's like you're still you can still get a little bit of value on them mm -hmm. because their age does play a role. There's you, you can't be naive even saying that it doesn't. Right. But I think it's important to know. But uh no, I, I'm with you on this one. I'm I'm, I'm Angela Hill um all the way. Okay, so I, I like think that. that's a good one. The Angel Hill, we got her at plus 110, so get a little bit of dog money on that one. <laughs>